Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Obed Potato, and if you haven't seen already, I posted a channel update on this uh, on this channel a little bit earlier, so um, if you're interested in, in all things Obed Potato, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, etc, 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 a general sort of State of the Republic address, you may indeed be interested in checking out that uh, that little uh, that little update that I did. Anyway, um, why am I why am I over here? Well, that's a wonderful wonderful question, comrade. I'm here because I wanted to talk about the steel mill, the brand newly renamed Industry Grad Steel Mill. And frankly, we have one mission, one glorious mission over the course of this episode, and that is to absolutely positively maximize as much as is reasonably possible and by as much as reasonably possible I mean to absolutely maximize uh, the potential of this steel mill it's been apparent I think to a lot of people everyone including myself uh, would would pr probably agree that uh, you know we've not maybe been as efficient as we can with the uh, with the steel mill not in terms of you know not trying uh there's just a heck of a lot a heck of a lot of iron that is actually required to make steel and at the moment our one source of iron is this flipping mine all the way over in uh, in mineski and it's a pretty it's a pretty lackluster source so uh, so there we go it produces 175 tons of iron per day it ain't that much it ain't that much uh, the reason that we need steel is pretty apparent there's a whole bunch of empty trucks that are currently you know, lining up to uh, to get steel from the, the open storage, and there ain't none there. There ain't none there. We are, I guess, like midway. We're midway through our twin reactor construction, but we still need, you know, 520 tons of steel, not to mention the steel that is required for all of the other different buildings here as well. Also, you are not building this road. I will build that road for you, video game, and therefore, maybe, just maybe, we will auto-assign... The nuclear grad uranium no that was a that was a little bit of an ambitious attempt uh, also thank you to everyone as ever who uh, who left comments uh, it's very very much appreciated there's a lot of people saying that i need to try and get another gas station around potato grad i think you guys are absolutely correct by the way i think i'm gonna do that uh, let me see if i can get one of yeah one of you down and hopefully that should uh, should just auto build if we leave it there. I'm gonna try and get another one as well because there is one over here, but I think that that's a little bit out of the way. So maybe, maybe if we can try and fit one in right about here, somewhere like that. Anyway, yes, as I was saying, the one and only mission, the one and only mission, well, there's never really one and only there's, only, there's never really one singular mission for one of these uh, one of these here episodes. However, the one primary mission for this episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic is indeed to try and maximize steel production. Like, I mean properly maximize. I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about any missing resources. I'm not talking about any missing workers. I'm talking about 500 workers, 150 tons of, uh, of iron, and 150 tons of coal. How are we going to accomplish that, Potato? I hear you cry. Uh, because our current source of iron is so garbage. So unbelievably garbage. Well, great question, comrade. Great, great, great question. The finest of questions, I must say. And one which will indeed be answered right now. So, you might remember. You might remember when we looked at our sources of iron uh, a couple of episodes ago now, we identified a, a key, I guess, like, a key ridge. And that, that key ridge is uh, is around Mount Ivan. It's all the way along here, basically over to Mineski. But this, like, section of uh, of terrain was roughly where we were interested in, uh, in excavating. Excavating iron? Quarrying iron? Mining iron is probably the term that I'm looking for. So what I've done in the gap between episodes, you may be able to see my handiwork here. I've actually created uh, created a plateau uh, in the stone. Now this took me legitimately about 20 minutes of time, so I didn't think that you'd want to uh, that you'd want to watch that. However. All that I did is I basically created a space that is large enough for uh, an iron mine to fit on. And what I did was I basically, uh, I, I basically didn't really look. I mean, I looked to some degree at how good this uh, this source of iron would be, but I more tried to take into account the fact that there was already a little bit of a natural plateau, and then I just tried to expand it. So I created one over here. And then I also created a smaller one over here. And I think between the two of these, we probably should bring in enough iron. I say enough, enough iron. We'll bring in a fair bit of iron, I would imagine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zone, 
I'm gonna zone this. Um, I'm also a little bit apprehensive, a little bit apprehensive about where I'm gonna put the mode of transport to get over here. I think I have an idea about how I want to transport people over here, but I don't know. You let me know if you approve in the comments down below. Uh, I think I want to build something that I haven't built in about 15 years, um, and that's probably not too far of an exaggeration. I want to build... I want to build another cable car. I want to build another cable car. Now, we haven't built many cable cars. We haven't built many cable cars at all over the course of uh, over the course of this little playthrough here. The last time that I think we did actually build a build a cable car was as yeah, it was actually the route up to Mineski, I believe. So there we go. Just make a little make that a little bit bigger. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that I'm hopeful that maybe we can find. I mean, can we find a space in the middle of this mountain for a, a cableway station? We just need a small cableway station, to be honest. That would be that would be totally adequate. Although even that looks to be somewhat of a challenge because we're still going to need to sort of sculpt out the land a little bit, and that will require a little bit of terrain modification. However, when you're doing very very small bits of terrain modification, it usually isn't too much of a problem. Uh, a cableway station right in the middle would probably be the best way of uh, of transporting people around, certainly up the mountain anyway. But yeah, I haven't built I haven't built one in a while. Now I have been building them over on the uh, over on the Twitch series, the Twitch the Twitch playthrough of uh, of this game has been fantastic, has been thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, if you are not already if you're not already following me on Twitch, you absolutely should do that because I mean, look, more workers and resources, Soviet Republic. It's a different playthrough. It's another highly nuclear playthrough. You'd probably like it. You'd probably like it. Don't be a party pooper. Come on over. Twitch.tv forward slash open potato. Booyah. That's right. Little bit of self-promotion. Never hurt anyone. That's right. Okay. So, yes. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a footprint just large enough so that we can get the auto, uh, the auto leveler to take effect. Because when that happens, everything works. Okay. So, what I'm actually keen to do, I'm actually keen to move this across just a little bit to the, to the right here. Why? Why, you may ask? Well, for, uh, for a fairly good reason, actually. Uh, there is only a walking output on the right of this building as it currently stands, so I want to create a little bit of road out to the left in order to create the walking path between the cableway station and the mine over here. Right, let me see if that actually works out as it should. I will build a regular bit of road. That's totally fine. And then we will build a little bit of a pathway. Now, pathways are... I mean, pathways are slightly problematic in the sense that they do still have restrictions. However, the restrictions that are on pathways are a lot less stringent than, uh, than roads. Although I believe that they used to be less stringent, quite frankly. There we go. Okay, so get this leveled a little bit. Make it look a little bit more reasonable. I mean, even maybe a bridge? Is it worth us building a bridge? I would love to build... I would love to build paths with bridges. Oh, like bridges with paths. That's that's what I meant. I'd love to build bridges with paths. Okay. Let's take this back a little bit. I mean, this is going to be... Yeah, too steep, too steep a descent. Yeah, I mean that. You you can go kind of. Right, I mean that's real funky how that works. I gotta be real, gotta be real. I'm kind of shocked at at how that actually works. Wow. Okay, I mean that's that's good news. That's very good news. Shockingly, we might actually be able to get across here. <laughs> I kind of can't believe that that's that that's happening. Yes. I mean, you do want to go, don't you, video game? You do want to go, but you just don't also want to go. I mean, like, what is the method? What is the best method for connecting this up? I'm actually unconvinced. Maybe it's not a path. Maybe it's not a path. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's something else. I mean, let me see if we can try going this way. Uh, to be honest, there's actually almost... There's actually almost a fairly decent path over here anyway. If I give this a little flatten... There we go. Give that a little flatten. Give that a little flatten. There we go. Yeah, there's actually a fairly decent path from the cableway station already around here. So we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of this. But the problem is is the problem is because we're working with uh, you know 
because we're working with stone, everything... What the heck? That seemed to drop way down. What the heck? So if I just paint repeatedly, will that make, uh, will that make much of a difference? No, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference, but it was wishful thinking, I guess. Yeah, so I think that there is, there is definitely going to be a path set up here. Man, this used to be so much easier before the update. Before the update, I believe that paths were relatively unconcerned with steepness. Yeah, and still the way in which they measure steepness is seemingly a little bit funky. I feel like, I feel honestly, I feel like a bridge might be the best way to do this. Although in saying that, the path, the pathing progress is looking pretty darn good. Sides are too steep. There seems to be like a, like a secret little tricky way to get through everywhere. Like every single path that I try and build, every little path that I seem to try and build, there seems to be... There seems to be a route to success. There seems to be a route to success for all of them. Like, you see, there's a there's a little there's a little green little green bit there. See that? That's that's hope. That's hope, right there. See again. Look, you see it. You see the green. I mean, finding the green can I feel be the biggest challenge of them all. You goober. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I mean, look, I'm not going to faff around with this for ages. I mean, if it doesn't want to work, it doesn't want to work, right? We're going to need to find an alternative, uh, an alternative way to do this. Because simply, this is, this has got to be, this has got to be possible. I mean, the other alternative is, the other alternative is quite simply, I tell you what, I tell you what the other alternative is. The other alternative is, is having a much more direct cableway system. Maybe this is something that I should have looked at originally. Maybe I should have always planned for this. Who knows? But yeah, if we get a cableway system up here, then that is totally fine, actually. Yeah, like that's totally suitable. So let me get a bit of gravel pathway over there. And then that's road. Don't care about road. And then a path connection. Too sharp of a turn. Sorry, do you understand how turns work, video game? Yeah, so there, there we go. That's actually totally fine. Right now, here's the next thing. Here's the next thing that we're gonna need to that we're gonna need to build. You thought you thought that was it? Oh no, boy, oh boy, we're just getting started. Not with mines necessarily, but with uh, with the transport routes. So we currently have a bus stop right in the center of town. Am I happy with that bus stop? Yes. Will that bus stop be able to supply all of these mines? No. So therefore, I think I have an idea about the best way to handle this. I unironically think that we want to get a train station. That's right, I think we want to get a train station somewhere, a train platform, whatever. I think we want to get a train platform somewhere in Kolgradsky in order to in order to ship people out to what will become, I guess, like an iron processing area right down here. And then from there, we can also have a connection up to the mines in order to in order to do the actual mining. This this may seem a little bit complicated, but I actually think that it's probably the best way of going about doing this. The only issue that I have is where the heck are we going to fit a flipping a flipping train station? It's a great question. I think to be honest, maybe in the location that the fire station is at the moment. Maybe, yeah, I think I actually think, yeah, let's um, let's try this. I'm very sorry to all of the firefighters who have been working here for a heck of a long time. It's unfortunately time that uh, you get out of there. There we go. Can we move everyone out? I think everyone's been moved out. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. So after all of the firefighting equipment has been moved out, we will see if we can demolish this and see if we can fit in a train station somewhere. Train platform even. It's going to be a little bit of a janky setup, but that's fine. I mean, when has a janky setup ever stopped me before? That's a trick question. It's never stopped me before. Right, this can be wholeheartedly disconnected. Doesn't really need to be connected up at all. That road does need to be there. There does need to be a road here somewhere. 
However, we can we can fiddle around with this in just a second as we go. Right. So, I need uh, I need this to be completely flat or as flat as can possibly be before we start our expansion. Cargo station. Do I want to see if I can get a full fledged train platform? Like a full a full whammy. I mean, it can fit. It can be done. It actually can be done reasonably easily. Okay. Destroy that power cable. And yes, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Orbital, reconnect that power cable as soon as you possibly can. Otherwise, you're going to forget your dingus. And uh, and everyone's going to be going to be worse off because you've forgotten to reconnect that power cable. To that, I would say you're absolutely right. However... I also feel like I don't want to connect it up right now because I want to plan a train station. That's right. I like train stations. I like train platforms. I think they're cool. Right. Smooth out the land here. Yeah, so this is going to be... The terrain here is not very forgiving. I will say that. It's not very forgiving at all. Right. Give me a train platform right about... There. Yeah, so right about... Right about there. Perfect. If I do it right in there, then that means that we can connect that road up over there and maybe also get another connection up over here. No, that doesn't look to be that doesn't look to be happening, but that's totally fine. Okay, build that road, that's okay. Build that train platform as well. Maybe somewhat of an ambitious thing to do given the circumstances, and by given the circumstances I mean given that we haven't actually built the rails yet. However, oh, look at that. That works That works like an absolute dream. They fit right around the back of the university there, which is fantastic. Uh, we are about to encounter a ridiculously steep decline. But that's okay. That's actually completely fine. Look at that. That actually looks semi-professional, if I do say so myself. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just keep it with boards for now. Although, actually, tell a lie, we could just electrify this straight from the get-go. Why the heck don't we do that, eh? I mean, look, we got the money, we've got the electronic components, if indeed we want to build the uh, the railway completely manually, which I don't think we do, because I think we want to try and get this up and running as swiftly as we possibly can. Remember what I said at the start of the episode, the mission today, the mission today is 100%, 100% steel production. That's what we're all about. Right, let's go into the wireframe. Ideally, I would not need to terrain modify this area too much. All right, so let's just get this tweaked around a little bit. There we go. Okay, that actually might just work. Don't delete the track. It's always a good start. Yeah, okay, so we need to do a little bit of terrain smoothing here. Lovely. Okay, that actually looks very positive. Very, very positive indeed. We're going to double it up the entire way because I want to I want to be capable of transporting people both way both ways from the uh, from the very start. Okay. Nice. Oh, what do you know? It looks to work. Kind of. It kind of it works. It's 100% success rate, no failure. All looks good. Okay, so that takes us down from reasonably highly elevated area down to the base level. Now, I don't want to connect up. I absolutely do not want to connect up my industrial traffic to my uh, to my worker line. So we're going to have to navigate around this area. I mean, it would probably be an idea if I placed even roughly... If I placed even roughly where I wanted my iron ore processing area to be. I think probably in here somewhere. The only issue that I have with this area is the terrain, again, is really, really challenging to work with. I say challenging to work with. I mean, it's not super challenging to work with. It's not like it's, um, you know, it's not like it's stone. But it is, it is something. It is something. And I don't know what height we really want it to be. I mean, the lower, the better for the train. But then also that means the more terrain modification we're actually going to need to to do. Uh, the other thing that you need to bear in mind is that we don't actually theoretically need to transport that many people over here if we only wanted to have a processing facility. But because this train is going to need to supply the workers to the iron mines as well, we do need a significant, a significant amount of people transported over here. Okay, 
So that's looking pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that. Because this is an entirely fully electrified route, we're not theoretically going to need any gas stations on the line, which is great. Yeah, okay. I mean, look, this is a lot of terrain modification. A lot of terrain modification. But it absolutely needs to be done. Okay, good stuff. I tell you what, I could get some modded bulldozers who might make slightly swifter work of this, but I tell you what, my my OG crew of bulldozers are doing a pretty darn good job. Okay, nice. Get all this flattened out. Yeah, that's that's looking not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Yeah. All right, let's roughly leave it there. I tell you what, I've actually had a incredible idea. One, you know, an idea that really only comes once every so often. And, you know, seriously, for a person like me, who doesn't have any ideas on any regularity, or, or any decent, decent regularity, I guess you could say. If I, I don't have good ideas. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to explain with, with that awkward phrasing. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna tr kind of try and work backwards. And what I mean by that is that I think it would be a really, really good idea. There we go. Look at this. There we go. Good progress. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna try and work backwards. So I think I probably want the station to be somewhere to the rear of this area that we've ended up creating here. So the station, the platform even, the train platform, I kind of want to be... Round about here. Okay, I think that's more than enough for what we actually need. It's always about, for me anyway, trying to strike that balance between... I want to give you guys, like, an authentic... An authentic experience of what it's like for me to play the game. But at the same time, I don't want to just bore you with... You know, faff around with terrain modifications for 50 minutes or whatever. Uh, right, so the train station is going to be over here. We're going to need to get iron processing facilities. How many iron processing facilities do I really want slash need? It's a valid question. I mean, they are ridiculously expensive. They are very, very expensive. Tell you what, maybe I should try and zone the route of the track. Yeah, okay. So if we do something like that, then that keeps the track out of the way, at least for now. At least for now, the track's out of the way. If we, if we plan for that to be the unofficial route of the track for now, then we can at least do something with this. Okay, so this is my this is my grand idea. This is my grand idea. So iron ore processing plant right over here. Another iron ore processing plant right over here. Another iron ore processing plant over here. Another iron ore processing plant over here. Yes, good. And another iron ore processing plant over here. And maybe even unironically one singular more iron ore processing plant. Of course, the game is running very, very slowly because I haven't held down the control button to tell it to not auto zone the conveyor belt. So it's still trying to magically auto zone the conveyor belts. Anyway, I said working backwards. So what I meant by that, what I meant by that all those minutes ago when I actually said it, I mean, the train station is going to be at the back of the complex, and we're going to process the iron going forwards, i.e. leading to the track over here. Because what we actually need, we actually need this track. Like, this track is actually key in transporting the resource. If you hadn't already guessed, we're going to be refining the resource back there, and then we're going to be driving it right up into the, right up into the steel mill. I should have clarified that, although you're a bunch of smart cookies. You'll probably, you'll probably get that that's exactly what I'm doing. Anyway, one more iron ore processing plant right over here. All of these guys should be within walking distance, right? Which is brilliant. All of them should be within walking distance. We need to get an aggregate storage, a large aggregate storage. Yep, we need to get a large aggregate storage set up. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Um, maybe, honestly, we're better just keeping this kind of elevated. I don't like the idea of keeping it elevated because we are going to need to set up a cable car system. But we'll deal with that in just a second. So let's get it, let's get it kind of sorted. We'll get it mostly sorted right now. 
Right. Looking good. Okay. And then the idea would be to hold a large aggregate storage up here. And we've got the resource coming in from down the hill. So we're going to set up a, a massive long conveyor. Brilliant. So that comes over here like that. Cool. Now, I think we can just straight up go into building conveyor engine transfers. Now, the conveyor engine transfers... I mean, a little bit of a tricky situation for this, but... Yeah, we do something like that. In fact, I mean, is there any point in using a lame old uh, conveyor engine transfer? Probably not. We probably just want to use the the best ones, right? The, the brand new... The brand new spanking new ones. Give me a... Uh, road and rail crossing? Road and rail crossing conveyor? Does it particularly matter? No, not really. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I just need something with... I just need something with three outputs. I need something with three... Yeah, some, something like that, actually, with three outputs. Totally fine. And there's not even like a like a path output three into one. No, I don't need I don't need that. I need Yeah, just give me this. Actually, yeah, that's that's completely fine. Sure. Give me that. Okay, so that'll supply one, two, three, four. Now we just need to supply two. So the remaining two conveyor engine transfers. Okay. I mean, there is some modicum of chance that this will end up working. I tell you what we should do. We should just get a double rail. Uh, we should just get a double rail crossing. I think if we get a double rail crossing over here, then we might straight up just actually be fine. Yeah, we stick a double rail crossing in somewhere over here, and we'll be fine. This is exactly why this was a preliminary plan, because I suspected that something like this might end up being necessary. Uh, what am I looking for? A single rail crossing, road and rail crossing, road, two road, just give me two rail. Is there not a two rail? There is a two rail. Rail crossing, there we go. I knew it. Okay, we're going to need to flatten this out a little bit to make it work, but that should be actually slightly beneficial because we might even be able to get a direct connection between the rail crossing and the large aggregate storage. All right, good stuff. Looking good. Now, this is only... I don't want to say this is only half the battle. There we go. That's actually kind of perfect. Yep. Brilliant. Now, does this connect up? Doesn't want to connect up at the moment, although that's not that's not necessarily fatal. That's fatal, however. That's That can't happen under any circumstances. We need to have a connection. All right. Double... Oh, actually, I tell you what, I unpaused. Did that build... That's building the train station. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. That train station is is a, is a definitely being built. For sure. Right. I need... Yeah, I need something like that. That's actually probably going to be slightly better. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Loop de loop around brilliantly easy just like that and yeah okay that's uh, that's perfect that's a perfect route for us the only other thing that we need to get set up and we can just do that with a basic conveyor engine transfer I believe we need to get a connection yep just there just there perfect so dead that didn't want to connect up hill causing obstruction ah you see I would have built that video game if you hadn't uh, there we go. Okay, that works perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Very, very happy with that. So that is absolutely everything connected from that one central large aggregate storage. Cool. Okay. So that's kind of like phase one. Uh, as long as we're able to get a conveyor system, I mean, this is going to be the this is going to be the next problem. Too long. Okay. I, I kind of figured that that might be a little bit extreme. Right. Hill is going to cause obstruction, no doubt. Hill causing obstruction. How much does the hill cause an obstruction? 
a little bit, but not not a super large amount. A little bit, but not a super large amount. Okay, see if we can take down the height of the hill just a little bit. Again, not super riveting content, but look, at the end of the day, this is what goes into making a successful mining operation. You know, proper planning. It's not something that I'm usually super, uh, super renowned for, although I must say that building this whole setup imaginarily too long, it must only be like a tiny little bit too long, right? Not that too long. All right, sure. Something like that. Too long? Again too long? Also, what the heck is up with those legs? They ain't looking super hot. Right, I mean, this is not gonna work, but hey-ho, we'll give it a shot. Hill-causing obstruction? Yeah, I thought that would be the case. I thought that would be the case, 100%. Right, what about over here? We able to... We able to do something like this? Some other infrastructures in the way? I would bet that that is the road, so ditch that. Hill causing obstruction. Again, the hill is only causing an obstruction by a very, very slight amount. Okay. Try and take down the hill just a smidgen. Tell you what, though, once we've got this conveyor up and running, we just need the cableway, and then we're pretty much going to be ready to be 100% operational, actually. Hill causing obstruction. Okay, so I mean, this is not exactly what I wanted to do. However, what we can do is we can actually just raise the terrain a little bit over here. Or even failing that, we can just level from the center. Nope, that doesn't want to go fast. We'll, uh, we'll try doing it this way. Again, because it's only a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. A tiny, tiny little hill that is causing the obstruction. Okay, so let's raise this as much as we possibly can. Alright. And then build it out. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that, folks? Did you flip and see that? There we go. I mean, it looks it looks janky as all heck. However, it does look like it, want, it wants to work, which is, which is fantastic. That's brilliant. Okay, so that is by far and away the most challenging connection that we're going to have. I mean... Is there any rationale to using modified modified thingamabobbers? You know what I mean by thingamabobbers. Conveyors. Uh, not really. But I guess I will. Because they, they are slightly elevated. Okay. Mind the frame rate for just a second. As it always is a little bit patchy whenever there's whenever there's the drawing of belts involved. Okay. How's that looking? Yeah, that's not looking too bad. That's looking good. And one final conveyor belt in there, just like that. Wonderful. So as long as these all get power, then we shouldn't have any issues with the resource. Okay, also, I don't know what the source quality of this iron mine is going to be like, but that's that's fine. Uh, also, we're fine for money at the moment. I mean, I do technically have three loans out, but eh, that's fine. I, I, I mean, I'm making more cash than I know what to do with at the moment, so this will be a welcome, a welcome investment with which we can pour our many millions of rubles into. 400,000 a pop, by the way. Holy cow, that's a lot of, lot of money to, to invest in all of these iron ore processing plants. The good news is that we don't actually need to uh, invest all of that money right now. Anyway, um, speaking of investing money, am I going to be able to get all of these out? I think I might be able to. Right. Tell you what, give me a modded building. Okay, try that one. Yes. Yeah, we need to make sure that we've got the ability to do all of this. Cool. Very cool indeed. I like this. I like this a lot. Ah, we might have one singular problem. 
with this dude over here. Right. Try again. We'll replace you down. Not an iron ore mine. No. Yeah, I think that will be totally fine. All right. Okay, so what we want to probably do is we want to probably... We want to probably simplify into uh, a large aggregate storage. We're gonna come from this direction, actually. Hold down control so that we don't have any frame issues. Yeah, I will do that, although I will ditch this, because you'll see exactly what I want to do in just a second. And then we will go to train aggregate loading. We'll get some flat ground here. Uh, tell you what I want to do. Do I want to maybe get a second train aggregate loading? Also, what's the direction of travel? The direction of travel is fine. So this is, this is good. Just want to absolutely make sure... Right, so plonk, uh, plonk that down there like so. Brilliant. And then let's finish off this. Let's finish off this line. We want this. Brilliant. Yes. Right in here. Thank you very much. And then this. Tell you what. We can just use a different... That's exactly it. That's exactly what we're after. Holy cow. I've never seen a more efficient iron setup. And that is not even... That's not even... That's not even a joke. Uh, everything needs to be connected up via road here, which is going to make things slightly more complicated. But where would we be without complicated things? I mean, you wouldn't have a television, for goodness sake, if people thought that that was a complicated thing. I mean, I know it's not really a complicated thing in the grand scheme of... The grand scheme of life and reality and all that but you know it's pretty complicated have another crack at this please there we go what do i need i need there we go that's not what i need i need to go the other direction hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up that's what i need in that direction Brilliant. Can I get a connection? Yeah, can I pull this back to about there? Yeah, that's actually perfect. The reason that I say that that's perfect is because that gives us, I believe, the space that we need to just thread that right through. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so that's going to come around there like so. It's going to come up around here like this. Again, this is mostly just for fire prevention and whatnot ditch that and what we will do is we will just redraw that conveyor no so I don't like it in that orientation so I'm going to try the other direction it's actually even worse remarkably okay uh, this might be again a little bit of a problem however Yeah, okay, this is absolutely not going to work under any circumstances, is it? Okay, well, that's fine, because we can always... We can always just take another punt at that specific conveyor. Now, what do I need? I need this one. Yeah, so we just put in an intermediary... An intermediary conveyor there. I mean, it doesn't make things look as perfect. But as far as I'm concerned, as long as it works, that's kind of, that's kind of okay with me. Overlaps the existing construction. I'm. I would be really shocked if this doesn't work. Actually. Really? That 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 refuses to work. Again, I will repeat my. I will repeat my statement. I would be. Ref, I would be shocked if it refuses to work. Okay. Too sharp of a turn. Really? That that doesn't seem like a very particularly sharp turn. And again, you just gotta you just gotta ask yourself, why the heck is that not working? Okay, try redrawing the conveyor again. Sure. Try that, see if that makes any difference. 
There we go. It works. I don't know if I did actually fix it there or I don't know what happened. Okay, so plan that as well. Whoops, that was the roads. Didn't mean to plan the roads, but that's fine as it turns out. That's okay. Uh, go into conveyors real quick and get that planned so that, that can all work. Okay, brilliant. So that's a road connection to pretty much half, right? Okay, ignore the fact that not all of the road connections look as good as they should. Okay, take this around here like this. We're going to need to modify this area in a little bit anyway. Okay. This needs a connection up here. Building is in the way. Fine. Great. Around there like so. And then let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. And yep. Nice and easy. That connected up. That connected up. That connected up. Man, it's really easy to connect these uh, these conveyor stations. Straight wowzers. That works really, really well. And you can go around here as well. It's good. I mean, we know how important it is to make sure that we've got an adequate road connection to everywhere. Because otherwise, your, your buildings will just burn down. Your buildings will literally just burn down. It's that simple. So we're going to need to get a fire station here as well somewhere. I saw a connection. I saw an opportunity. I wanted to take it. All right. There we go. Good. Keep it coming. Things are too steep. Now, I'm convinced that you're lying to me, video game, and actually this is going to be an entirely possible build. There we go. I am convinced. I remain totally convinced. Hey! No! <laughs> there we go. That's, that's the worst connection that I think I've ever seen in my entire time playing this game. There we go. That looks a little bit better. A little bit too steep. But look, this is a, it's imperative that we connect this this route up. Absolutely imperative. Uh, okay, what about... And yeah, what about a little bit of terraforming over here? Don't usually like to terraform if I'm building roads, but look. I'll make an exception due to the exceptionally important nature of... Uh, of this road. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. We turn off the wireframe now. Is that a connection? It's a road connection to absolutely everywhere with the exception of the train station. But the train station needs a little bit of attention anyway because now is the time that you've all been waiting for. This is the moment of truth. This is where this is where things hit the fan. This is where this is where things get challenging. Right. So we need to get a cableway station. We need one cableway station to be to be honest, to be brutally honest, we actually technically need two cableway stations, but that's that's kind of fine. Um, and this might be this might be where absolutely everything unravels. So here's hoping that that doesn't actually happen. We need to get heavy cableway poles. Need to get heavy cableway poles. Oh my goodness. I simply do not believe it. I simply do not believe that that connection actually works. That is just about the most miraculous thing that I think I've ever seen. I actually think we can do better than that. I actually... Okay, so with a new amount of confidence, I actually legitimately think that we can do better than that. Okay, uh, first of all, that's a that's a garbage place. It's an absolutely garbage place for a, uh, for a building to go. Actually, I tell you what, maybe that's not actually the most garbage place for a vehicle... Uh, for a building to go. All right, so over there... And then we'll try and get it as far left as we possibly can here. As far right, whatever. All right, so heavy cableway wire, I think. I mean, you did originally want to connect up to the... Okay, look, ditch this. Ditch this one. I'm being, I'm being too... I'm being too greedy. I'm asking for too much. It works. I still can't believe that it actually works. And a road connection as well. 
Okay, so that's that he heavy cable way uh, station dealt with. See, now, can we terrain modify? I was really hopeful of maybe us getting down a second a second station over here. Because if, if that was able to work, then we could, in fact, capitalize on our dream. I say our dream. My dream of getting two mines up at the top of the world. In fact, to be honest, if we want to get two mines up at the top of the world, all I need to do is find space over here for another cableway station and then just pipe them over. So yeah, we'll actually just go up with one single cableway for now. As if I have any other choice. No, I'm just trying to backpedal because make it sound like it was my idea to do that all along. Which, you should know, if I'm being absolutely on honest, which which I absolutely am being, it, it wasn't my idea. It wasn't my idea to do that the whole time. Didn't want to actually do it. I'm sorry. Okay. Tell you what, though. This looks good. This looks really, really good. This looks this looks absolutely fine. The, the, the one thing that I will say is that building cableways is a actually not terrible experience. Like, it's, it's actually quite enjoyable. Now this could technically be a little bit of a terrible experience. Yeah. Okay, I mean, how are we going to... How are we going to get the cableway either over or under? How are we going to get it either over or under the, uh, the conveyor belt? That's the real challenge. I mean, okay. Give this a little bit of a flatten. I think what the trick is going to be is going to be raising the exit points of the wire. What I mean by that is that I think we want to try and get a a pylon like basically right in front of basically right in front of the station here. So I think we're going to need to try and terrain modify this a little bit uh, so that we can at least get a little bit of a flat bit of territory outside the front of the cableway station because if we're able to stick if we're able to stick a pile on here then there's a good chance that we might be able to go over over the uh the, the conveyor belt again very optimistic but look you've got to be an optimist you've got to be an optimist when you're faffing around in this game don't you you, you do you do you frankly don't have any choice it's in the contract can't build you to infrastructure okay let me see if i can yes this is what i'm talking about that's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's drag around the plateau from the side. Still don't understand why it's so easy to build over here, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, still, I don't understand why it's so easy to train modify when you have the blueprint of something, when you're hovering over the, the blueprint of something. Right, getting closer. Right. I mean, what's the, what's the issue with this? Need flat terrain? I mean, try... T you... Complete dingus potato. Alright, don't understand what happened there, but it all just disappeared. Alright, try building out a little bit. Okay. Angle of connection is too sharp. Angle of connection is still too sharp. I think it's this conveyor over here that's causing the problems. That's actually totally fine if that's if that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm okay with lowering the the cable way. I need flat terrain. We are very, very flipping close to making this happen. It's... It, oh. I mean, we can maybe rotate this. We can maybe, maybe, maybe rotate this station a little bit. If we were to rotate the station, would that solve our problems? It's risky business, that's for sure. I'm just going to assume that we're going to be able to build a path up here regardless of what happens, which is maybe a bit of an assumption, but whatever. Let's keep moving it back a little bit. Move it back a little bit so we got ample space for the path. And let that all get leveled out. Brilliant. Yes, leveled out today at some point. That'd be that would be just fine, thanks, video game. Or maybe tomorrow, maybe this year. Yeah, maybe this decade, maybe this century. I suppose. It is it is stone that we're dealing with here, so 
Okay, so that's just about what we need. Uh, however, I gotta be very, very careful that the angle doesn't... We want to try and get over the top of these... Over the top of this, uh, over, over the top of this thingamabobber here. Right, angle of connection is too sharp. Is it really? I, to be honest, I actually think that this is, this is our best, this is our best approach. I think we just need to go... We need to go around. Yeah, this is this is where we need to go. We need to go around the station, at least for now. Yes, exactly there. Then we try and get as sharp a turn as we possibly can on this pole. So that connects up like so. Maybe even we go for another sharp connection. So a sharp connection just like so. Brilliant. So now we're pretty much... Now we're pretty much lined up with the angle of... This. Yeah, tell you what. What about... What about I try and go over? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. What about if I try and go over here? Oh, it works, and it works like an absolute dream as well. Okay, that's brilliant. And then we're just remaining... There's just one connection remaining. I mean, it is going to be a little bit of a sharpie. Little bit of a sharp connection. I'm an optimist, though. Okay. Let's do that there. Brilliant. And then that just leaves one single heavy cableway pole that needs to be rejigged a little bit. <gasps> and it works too. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that is frankly one of the best cableway setups that I think I could have possibly built. Like that actually legitimately works. Last chance to buy. Oh my goodness, this is the last chance to buy the the fuel train, the diesel train that has actually kept us going for such a long time. All right, so now don't break my heart video game. Don't tell me that I'm not going to be able to build the path that I need to build over here. To be honest, if I need to go around the back, then that's fine. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We can we can just path around the front, right? Thank goodness. Thank 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 goodness. Oh my giddy aunt. That was that was a little tough. That was a little tough, not gonna lie, that was a little tough. Okay, so I mean if indeed I wanted to get a secondary. What the heck? Why the heck does it do that? Um, if I wanted to get a secondary station, a secondary uh, cableway station, I would just fly this area out over here. That could very well happen in the future. Is it going to happen for now? No. We've got one singular iron mine, which is basically ready to immediately start operating. Because that is all. That is all that we need. That is all of the infrastructure that we need in order to get it up, uh, up and running. Yeah. It literally, it literally is ready to go. That's the entire area zoned. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to make a couple of adjustments to the rails. So, I think to be on the safe side. Yeah, we will get this to come down here. Keep coming, keep coming. And run this track parallel to the, to the real rails just for a second. I say just for a second, for a fair bit. Let's also stick a signal in here so that we don't end up with some confusing nonsense. It's actually going to be very, very easy for trains to load and uh, get the iron from this area. Okay, cool. So we'll simplify that into that singular track. And we'll simplify that over there as well. And again, that can be stick, uh, stuck in like so. Brilliant. So that should give an ample amount of run-up. So if there's any train that needs to get onto this like little lay-by thing, I say little lay-by, rather big lay-by. Any train that needs to get onto that that big lay-by, then we should be we should be totally fine. Right now, the next the next difficulty. I say the next difficulty. It's not a difficulty. This is of all of the things that we've done over the course of this episode. This is the easy thing to do. The easy thing to do is. I bet you this is not going to work. By the way. Oh, no, it actually works. I thought that the road would uh, would interfere with me building the electric track over here. Uh, the last thing that we need to do is connect up that track over there to this track over here. And to do so, 
with about as minimal crossover of industrial track as possible. Yeah. Not to mention the fact that we currently have a hot garbage road. A really, really garbage road, in fact. Right. I want to try... I want to try coming across there like so. I don't love the fact that this is going to be... Do I actually want to get a bridge? I actually think I do want to get a bridge, you know? I really do want to get a bridge. The problem with a bridge is that it's going to be a little bit challenging to do. Yeah. Right, so, I mean, is there a speed that I... A specific speed that I want for the bridge? No, not really at all. Can't build you to infrastructure below. All right, I think we might need to go a smidgen higher than that. Can't build you to infrastructure below. Again, is that is that a height issue? I don't think it's a height issue. Okay, it's absolutely not a height issue. But that should be totally fine, actually. Okay, so if we double up... double up here. Other infrastructures in the way. There we go. No, just give me give me the parallel. Give me the parallel. Oh, okay, you know what? Demolish this road, which is undoubtedly going to end up messing with a bunch of bits and bobs, but that's fine. Okay, connect up there. Connect up there. Brilliant. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look like the prettiest bridge in the world, and it is going to cost half a million rubles. Well, that and the rest of the, the track, but I think it's totally worth it. Right, so the remainder of the route of this railway should just come around here. We can, of course, remove... We can, of course, remove roads. I don't really want to remove power cabling, but... I can do if that is in fact absolutely necessary, but only video game if you if you tell me that it is absolutely necessary in order to do such a thing. Too sharp of a turn. You've gotta be you've gotta be joking me. Okay, there we go. So just like that we avoid removing wires. Oh, you know what I've forgotten to do? You know what I've forgotten to do this whole darn episode? Not like it really particularly matters. Uh, but I forgot to reconnect this wire. See, this is exactly why I want to not disconnect wires. So that I don't have to reconnect them. And feel stupid, st stupid, stupid, stupid embarrassed the whole darn time. There we go. Build that. Jeez Louise. Why didn't anyone remind me? I blame... I blame you, dear viewer. You are indeed the reason why I didn't remember. Okay. Uh, let me see if we can go right through here. Sure. Okay, that is never going to work. That will maybe allow this to work? Okay, no. Yeah, fine. I mean, look, this this entire bit of this entire bit of road is is frankly a disgrace. It it really really is. Right, you know what? Whilst I'm here, why don't I see if I can just gravel this area up a little bit? Ditch this road. Overlaps the existing construction. Does it really, though? Does it really? I really feel very strongly that it shouldn't overlap with any construction. How the heck are we going to get it around? Oh, I guess we could just do something like this. Tell you what. Yeah, build me an asphalt road right around here. I don't really care about traffic crossing... Upgrade this. So this is all one singular bit of road. There we go. And then that's all asphaltified. Nice. Okay. Good. So that just makes me feel a little bit better about abandoning this area entirely. Nice. And nice. Alright. That's not looking too shabby. Whilst we continue with our railway expedition... I guess we could bring it in kind of close to the existing track. As long as it doesn't touch it, then that's fine. Okay, good. 
Yes, very nice, very, very nice. And that actually works totally perfectly. Okay, I was thinking that we might need to rejig the entrances to this construction office here, but that's that's fine if that doesn't if that doesn't want to happen. And then yeah, we can just go direct over to direct over to that connection over there. I mean that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. All that remains for us to do on this rail route is to see if we can reconnect first of all the construction office. And second of all Actually, yeah, second of all, just reconnect that. Yeah, that's actually totally fine. That's actually really, really good because the only reason that we would need a connection over here is to connect up the the fuel station. All right, you know what? Because I am such a benevolent individual, I'm going to work on getting this road upgraded as well because I really do feel like trucks which have been driving down this, this garbage old dirt road for a significant period of time, they really do deserve better. They really, really do deserve better. Okay, so that is that is it. That's all we, we really need to do. Build that with rubles. Brilliant. Build that with rubles. Build that with rubles. I mean, this is all going to cost a substantial amount of money. However, it'll totally be worth it. Okay. So. I'm going to unpause. I'm going to unpause. Oh, actually, hold up. Nope, we, we didn't connect up. We didn't connect up this. Oh, you don't like that video game, do you? It's fine, though. It's an easy, easy to easy to deal with problem. Okay, so we're going to build all of these rails. We're going to build all of these rails. That's going to cost us a million rubles. Do we need to build anything else? I don't think that we need to build anything else. I think that's, that's all that we really need to build at this moment in time. So the rails are going to get built. Let's build this. Nice. Now, of course, we can... We can decide... We can decide to build some of these... Oh, we didn't actually put down a trafo or whatever. What's what, Whatever the term is for a uh, for an electric connection here. Yes, that is rather silly, if I do indeed say so myself. What's the current power utilization over here? Not very high. Brilliant. Let's stick down a... Let's stick down a, an electric rail connection right in here somewhere, shall we? Butte. Butte, butte, butte. Right. I forgot that this was one of the most iconically uneven bits of land that we have. Much better to stick it in here. Bulldozer tool, much more effective when just deleting absolutely everything. Brilliant. Connect that up. Connect that up. Connect that up. Connect that up. Reconnect this. Reconnect that. Spend a bunch of money. Waste a bunch of money. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, before we unpause, give me access to medium voltage wires. Ditch that. Medium voltage switch. There we go. Angle of connection is too sharp. Never fear, potato is here. Never fear, potato is here. Just whenever... Whenever the angle of too, is too sharp, connection occurs, connection issue occurs, just say never fear potato is here, and your problems will remarkably just solve themselves. I don't know why it works. Don't know some uh, some witchcraft, but it's fine. It works. What do you know? Let's get all that set up. Brilliant. Okay, so that takes us down to probably just just above, just above a million rubles. The entirety of this length of track looks completely energized. That's looking good. We've asphaltified an entire area over here. And I'm going to continue to just buy asphalt in here. Uh, the reason is mostly because I want my construction depots to be available to do any work that is required. I don't think... I don't think, truth be told, we need to have all of these... All of these iron ore processing facilities up and running right at this moment in time. I think that we can probably play it somewhat safe. What I think we need to get up and running, like, right now, is this iron mine. And that's going to cost a fair chunk of change in and of itself. So let's get this set up. There we go. That's going to cost 75,000 rubles just for that singular transfer. We need to get this cableway up and running so that we can actually get a connection going. If I need to take out a couple of bridging loans, even a couple of bridging loans, to be honest, that would be totally, totally okay. Build some cableway poles. That all connects up absolutely perfectly. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
brilliant. 83,000 for that. 84,000 for that. Yeah. So what's important to me is making sure that we get iron production set up right now. We can always come back later and then refine our iron. That is, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit... A little bit, uh, a little bit of a bonus. If we can refine the iron, then that's great. Although technically, we could just export, we could just export the unrefined iron into the potato grad, into the potato grad system, like right now, because there is additional iron processing capacity in. Well, I guess it's not potato grad anymore. In industry grad, it's definitely there. Oh, one thing that I didn't check. Are we able to connect this up? Bit of a stupid question. Also, I didn't connect up the paths. Uh, but that, I suspect, will be the least of my concerns. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I suspect that this will be all within walking distance. However, no guarantee as ever. Ah, now this is a little bit of a funky situation here. This might not even be possible to connect up. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting indeed. Um, hmm. Demolish that. Try again. This is why, yeah, ignore the fact that it's currently a bit strange. Don't understand that. Uh, yeah, so see if we can try... See if we can try again. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't want to... doesn't want to work. Cancel. That was my path plans. That was my path plans. That was my path plans. And there's absolutely no way that I can fit in a walkway between these two buildings, is there? Just asking again, just to see if it's at all possible. building is in the way. Oh, it looks so close. It looks so close to working, to be honest. It's actually kind of brutal. Like, it really wants to work. Like, will it curve around? Doesn't want to curve around either. Even if I try and wiggle wiggle it a little bit. No, it doesn't want to curve around. Which means that we need to try and prioritize getting getting it into this specific area. Is that is that any better? No, not really. Uh, again, try with the path. Try with the path. Yeah, it's not it's not going to work, is it? It's not it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Which means that we might be forced to stick down an additional conveyor. Conveyor engine transfer over here. But even that is no... No sure thing. Okay, this shadow flickering is really rather irritating. Okay. Now that does want to work. However, that introduces additional complications of trying to find a route for the road. And now I suspect this road will not be connectable. Overlaps with existing construction. Now that's a darn shame because that was that was going to work pretty darn perfectly. Oh, we are so close. We're so close to just absolutely nailing this. And I love it. The, f this, the feeling of satisfaction that you get after after building, like, from scratch a big project like this is, you know, you just... It's not it's not possible to feel otherwise, uh, to, to feel it otherwise. Like, it's just, it's just a, a unique experience. Okay, it's probably easier if I do this from a bird's eye view. Yeah, okay. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Tell you what. 
Yeah, how about that? How about that? How about that? Okay, I think that's just about the best bet that we're gonna get. That looks good to me. It looks very good to me. Oh, it looks great to me. It looks so darn good to me. Oh, and it works. It works perfectly. Okay, so I deleted the entirety of my path network like a dingus. Like an actual idiot. But as it turns out, no harm, no foul, right? Now I just need to reconnect some of these some of these roads or some of these these roads for paths, these roads for workers. It's a path. That's the term that I was looking for. The specific term was path. Okay. This can connect up here. Too sharp for the turn. Remarkable how that's too sharp for the turn. And yet you're comfortable doing 90 degree turns. I don't get it, video game. I don't get it. All right, that connects up there. Brilliant. This gets to be deleted as well. Uh, and then, to be honest, you can just feed in to there. Okay, so that is literally... That is literally a six iron ore processing setup from a single station. I don't want to say that that's the best darn processing setup that I've ever uh, that I've ever built before, but I mean it's pretty close to be honest. I'm really really happy with that. Okay, you need to get built because otherwise there's going to be no electricity over here. We need to also continue building this, building this, building this. Right, we're actually almost there. We might just have enough... Might just have enough funding to get us across the line without uh, without taking out a bridging loan. I'll tell you what, we actually, we actually will. So that is the entirety of the cableway set up. And that was relatively easy. We do still need a little power setup. Uh, the power setup is going to be... Um, a, a problem. Uh, what we what we can do actually, what we can do is we can actually straight up something that I didn't even think of is we can just connect up this here. What's this? The railway's too close to something or other. There we go. That's fine. Okay. In fact, no. I want to do this as one singular chunk of road. So, what I'm thinking is that we can just have that be built. So, this should automatically assign to a bunch of different construction offices. Because this should absolutely be within range of these construction offices here. If indeed these have got 3,000... Yep, they've got 3,000 range on them, which is brilliant. So, immediately, the Kolgradsky huge construction offices start building that bit of gravelized road. And that should, in itself, link up to the rest of the road network. That's actually a hugely filthy lie doesn't actually link up to the rest of the road network because for some reason it just doesn't. Uh, the road network, the rest of the road network uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, okay, so for I don't know why I, there's a tiny little mini road network over there and then the rest of the rest of this is just disconnected, but okay, fine. That can be connected up over there. Brilliant. Can I just connect this up over here? Oh, yes. Oh, come on, video game. Come on. This is totally possible. You know you want to. Okay. Anyway, once this gets built... Yes, there we go. Once this gets built, once this gets planned anyway, then that will be the entirety of the road network connected up. And my intention would be... My intention would be to just leave the... Uh, to just leave the trucks to build the road network and maybe some of the, I don't know, some of the iron ore processing plants. But what I'll probably do is I'll probably switch on the iron processing plants from left to right. So we'll build probably these two so that we can at least start refining iron right now, start processing iron right now. And then these ones can all be built whenever the time allows because these guys are all connected up to the additional, I guess, the, the secondary the secondary output from the aggregate storage that are all connected through this, uh, this roadside conveyor. And all of this stuff on this side, all of the infrastructure over here, can just be built as and when the construction offices really get a moment. There's no real, there's no real rush to get that all set up as long as it's, as long as it's working, then it's working, right? What's the issue here? Why is this an issue? I have no idea why you seem to be reporting this as a problem video game. Please continue as you were. 
There we go. Okay, there's always a problem with signaling. It's a bit, bit buggy, but that's fine. Okay, so that is that. That is absolutely that. Um, there is a little bit of additional infrastructure that we need to get in order to make this area work, i.e. literally a train depot, because there is no connection to any other uh, bit of rail network, so we're going to need to get a bespoke train depot that can deal with electrified trains and whatnot. But that's fine. Without that, we're not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we need to also build this large aggregate storage. That costs 66,000 rubles, and that's money I don't have at this moment in time. But I tell you what, I tell you what, I feel like of all of the things that I could have done over the course of this episode, I know I actually said in the last episode that I was going to focus on food in this episode, the fact that we've zoned an entire additional iron processing area, and we actually have plans on how it's going to work, how it's going to develop, I think that's tremendous. I think that's tremendous. I think this is the best way that we can possibly make this work. And the thing that you've got to bear in mind is that as more and more iron is processed, as more and more steel is, uh, is, is processed, that's right, we still have massive steel shortages. Although, yeah, we've made a little bit of progress on a, a few buildings. Um, as we slowly, slowly but surely, uh, you know, get more and more iron into the steel mill, then that will mean that there's more and more steel being produced. That means that, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we can devote some of those steel resources to building some of the infrastructure over here. It's, it's a, I guess like a domino, a reverse domino effect, or maybe just a regular domino effect. I don't know. I don't know what the domino effect actually is. Um, on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode up. Thank you very much to Banana Nanana uh, for being a $25 plus supporter over on the Patreon. If, you'd, if you're interested in helping make videos like this directly possible, check out, the, uh, check out the Patreon link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.